What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set custom icons in macOS. So a quick disclaimer, starting in macOS 10.12 Sierra or newer, you are not able to change the built-in Mac app icons. So that means things like Notes, Finder, Safari, anything like that, anything that comes with the Mac out of the box, you cannot change their icons. But if it's a third party application, something like Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Office, Minecraft, anything like that, you can change their icons. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to do that. So first, you're obviously gonna need the picture files, the ones that you're going to convert into ICNS files, which are the icon file type that Mac uses. So I already have two icons I'm going to use. One is for Chrome and one is for Minecraft. I've just pulled out a custom Chrome icon from the web as well as uh, this diamond block from Minecraft. Secondly, you're going to need a program to convert the image file, be they PNG or JPEG, into the ICNS file type. And for that, I recommend Image to Icon. This is a completely free app and one that I've used for many years for setting these kind of things. Now it does have some paid features. So for example, if you want to convert pictures into the Windows icon file type, or if you want to do some other photo conversions, or even if you want to set folder icons automatically within the app. However, if you really don't care about those features and you're just doing this for individual applications, then you can just use the free version and you'll be just fine. So I'm going to open the app now, and you can see it's pretty dead simple. All you have to do is take your picture file and drag and drop it into the app. And now you can see it's converted it as well as created some folder templates, though these are all locked behind the paywall. No worries, we're not gonna be worrying about that today. You also, if you want, you can make some adjustments. For example, you can adjust the background. This did it automatically, so we don't have to worry about that. And you can also do some things like uh, changing the zoom or changing the rotation of the application that you wanna, uh, excuse me, of the icon. So you can see it's done some changes there. I'm going to reset this. There we go. Now, what you can then do is you can take the application that you want to change, and here we go, and just drag it in to the app. You see it's doing a little circle, and now it's all done. And now you can see the Minecraft app in my applications folder has changed to this diamond block instead. Likewise, if I ever decide, you know what, I, I wanna go back to normal, I wanna go back to the original icon, I can then go back into the app's main menu, just hit the back button, go to this restore, and then drag and drop the application in question back. And now you can see it has converted it back to the original icon. Now there may be some times where image to icon can't automatically set it in the program. What I mean by that is you saw in the Minecraft one, I was able to drag the Minecraft application into the app and have it automatically change to my custom icon. There may be some third party apps that can't do that for whatever reason. In this case, let me show you how to manually set the application icon. So let's do Chrome for this instance. I'm going to drag the photo I want. And now I'm going to hit the export button and select the ICNS file type. You can also see there's other custom ones that you can do for iOS, Android, a website favorcon, etc. cetera. Um, for this point, I'm gonna just use the ICNS because that's what we're doing on Mac OS and it's gonna select my folder. I already have the custom icons folder and I'm going to hit save. And now you can see it has created this chrome.icns file. So what I wanna do next is go to my application in Finder, right click on it and hit get info. I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick. So what you wanna do is take your ICNS file that you made and drag it up to the top left hand corner next to the app's name, you have the little photo. And you can see now we have a little plus icon. Just drag and drop that. Finder's gonna ask for permissions. I'm going to approve it. And now you can see the icon has changed. So now if I go back to the applications folder, you can now see that I have this custom Google Chrome icon. Now one important thing to note here as well is if you have to manually set the app icon, for whatever reason, if image icon won't change it, then you need to also know that you can't use the restore function to change it back. So you can see if I drag Google Chrome in here, then it's not gonna work and you have to change it manually. 
So in this case, it might be a really good idea to have a backup icon set for the original icon set. And of course, you can also reinstall the application if you need to. Um, that's a little bit overkill. I would just go online and just check for the original app icon. But that's going to be it. That is how to change and set custom icons in macOS. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice. You can also check us out on our website, easyosx.net, and on social media. Thanks again for watching.